Show me the money! Gold in this case. Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a gold type effect using Adobe Photoshop CS4, like the one you see on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and delete my example there. And I'm currently working on a 9900 by 3600 pixel canvas with a background set to black. I'm going to go ahead and select the type tool. I'm going to type in the year 2012. The font is impact regular with 400 point. I'm going to go ahead and center this. Um, I think impact is a nice font to use for the gold effect because it looks very simple and prestigious. Uh, you can add the layer style by clicking on this FX icon or by double clicking the layer. And when you double click the layer style uh, menu should pop up. First we're going to change the gradient overlay. The blend mode is normal, opacity at 100%. We're going to change the gradient by clicking on this bar. And we're going to change the color stop. Uh, the hex code for the first color is EBDD8C. And we're going to change the second color stop. The second one is F0A30F and you're going to get this nice yellowish to orange gradient. You want to change the style to reflected, the angle at 90 degrees and the scale at 100%. Actually let me just zoom in so you can see what's going on. Next, we're going to uh, create the bevel and emboss. Inner bevel, smooth, the depth at 256%, direction is up, size is 46 pixels, soften 0 pixels, the angle at 140 degrees, altitude of 40 degrees, uh, change the gloss contour to double ring, which is this one right here. Click on the anti-alias. Highlight mode. Screen. White. 75% opacity. Uh, for the shadow mode, you want to change it to linear burn. Black. And 60% opacity. Next, you want to change the outer glow. The blend mode is linear dodge, opacity at 50%, noise 0%. You want to change the color. The hex code is FDCA66. Technique is softer, spread is at 2%, the size is at 10 pixels. The contour, you want to select half round, this one right here. Uh, click on anti-alias, bump up the range to 100% and the jitter at 0%. And it looks like nothing's happening, but if you actually uncheck this bevel and boss and uh, just uncheck the outer glow and turn it back on, you can see that is glowing a little bit. It gives it a little bit of a shimmer effect to the gold. And actually when you're done you can click on this new style to save your style. I'm going to change the name to gold and I'm going to click on this checkbox include layer blending options. Click on OK. Now when you go on top 
and click on the styles it should have a save your layer style saved okay I'm gonna zoom out uh, the next step is actually kind of a uh, optional if you like if you like to roughen up the gold a little bit you can do that by creating a new uh, layer and I'm gonna create a small selection make a small selection I'm gonna fill it with white I'm gonna go to filter noise add noise amount at 400 percent uh, Gaussian monochromatic click on OK then I'm gonna go to filter blur motion blur and I'm gonna just change the angle to around maybe 63 per, uh, degrees with the distance of 83 pixels click on OK and I'm just gonna transform this and to enlarge it um, that's pretty good what you want to do is actually duplicate this 2012 layer and you want to get rid of this FX uh, the layer style by dragging this FX icon to the trash bin next you're gonna uh, let me just uh, hide the first layer you wanna rasterize the 2012 layer copy layer then you wanna hold the control button and click on the layer the thumbnail and you're gonna uh, make a selection 2012 selection I'm going to unhide this and I'm going to actually create a layer mask and what you see is this let me zoom in you probably can't see it on your screen uh, it gives it like a stringy effect uh, it roughens up the gold a little bit if you don't like it uh, very smooth and what you want to do is actually uh, change the blend mode to vivid light and get rid of this 2012 copy layer and you can see that it has these lines which roughens up the gold a bit if you turn it off it's very smooth the gold is very smooth if you turn it back on it has uh, lines and the reason why you want to use this mask is because if you don't you're gonna get those lines on the glow itself and that's not what you want you just want it on the actual gold and I'm gonna create a new layer I'm gonna use a brush uh, like a sparkle brush and just create some highlights and that's it that's how you create the gold uh, text effect again like the colors on the FX like the layer styles you can actually play around with it a bit and change the color if you want to maybe like a rose gold or platinum whatever you want